Hello and welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss a question which says a cistern internally measuring 150 cm by 120 cm by 110 cm has 1,29,600 cm3 of water in it. Porous bricks are placed in the water until the cistern is full to the brim. Each brick absorbs one seventeenth of its own volume of water. How many bricks can be put in without overflowing the water? Each brick being 22.5 cm by 7.5 cm by 6.5 cm. Now we know that volume of a cuboid is equal to length into breadth into height. So this is a key idea behind our question. We will take the help of this key idea to solve the above question. So let's start the solution. Now the cistern and bricks have the shape of a cuboid and we have given the internal measurement of the cistern that is the length of the cistern is is equal to 150 centimeter Breadth of the cistern is equal to 120 centimeter and height of the cistern is equal to 110 centimeter. Therefore, volume of the cistern is equal to One fifty into one twenty into one hundred ten centimeter cube because volume of cuboid is equal to L into B into H and this is equal to one nine eight. Zero 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 centimeter cube. Now it is given a cistern has one lakh twenty nine thousand six hundred centimeter cube of water in it. Therefore, volume of water in the cistern. is equal to 1,29,600 cm3. It is given. Now, porous bricks are placed in the water and the measurement of each brick is given to us. That is the length of the brick is equal to 22.5 cm and its breadth is 7.5 cm and height of the brick is 6.5 cm. Therefore, volume of each brick or volume of one brick is equal to L into B into H and this is equal to 22.5 into 7.5 into 6.5 centimeter cube 
and this is equal to 1096.875 cm3. Now, each brick absorbs 117th of its own volume of water. Therefore, volume of water absorbed by one brick is equal to 1 by 17 into 1096.875 centimeter cube. Let the total number of bricks be x. Therefore, volume of water absorbed by x bricks is equal to x upon 17 into 1096.875 cm3. Now, the volume of water left in the system is equal to volume of water in the system minus volume of water absorbed by x bricks. Now we know that the volume of water in the system is 1,29,600 cm3 minus volume of water absorbed by x bricks which is x over 17 into 1096.875 centimeter cube. Now, as the cistern is filled up to the brim, up to the brim, therefore, Volume of water left in the system plus volume of X breaks is equal to volume of the system. So this implies, now volume of water left in the system is 12960 minus x upon 17 into 1096.875 centimeter cube plus volume of x bricks which is equal to volume of one brick into x. That is x into 1096.875 cm3 and this is equal to volume of the system and which is 1980000 cm3. Now we will solve this equation. So let us take the LCM here. This implies 17 into 129600 which is 220 minus x into 1096.875 upon 17 plus 
x into 1096.875 is equal to 1980000. So this implies 2203200 minus x into 1096.875 plus 17 into x into 1096.875 is equal to 1980000 into 17. And this implies 2203200 plus, now this is x into 1096.875 and this is 17x into 1096.875. So we are left with 16 into x into 1096.875. And this is equal to, now 17 multiplied by 1980000 is equal to 33660000. And this implies 16 into x into 1096.875 is equal to 3366000 minus 2203200 and this implies 16 into x into 1096.875 is equal to Three one four five six eight zero zero, and this implies x is equal to three one four five six eight zero zero upon sixteen into one zero nine six point eight seven five. And this implies x is equal to 3145680 upon, now 16 multiplied by 1096.875 is 17550. So on cancellation we have. So this implies x is equal to 69904 upon 39 and this implies x is equal to 1792.410 therefore we will take x is equal to 1792. Hence the number of breaks is equal to 1792. Hence the answer for the above question is 1792. I hope the solution is clear to you. Bye and take care.